Hello everyone, welcome back to Nisha Lakshmi World. I am Nisha and today we are going to be making a very easy and delicious veg palau in a pressure cooker. So let's go ahead and get started. The ingredients needed for this recipe are mixed vegetables 750 grams. Here we have taken carrot, peas, beans and turnip but you can use any vegetable as per your preference. 1 potato diced. Here we have soaked the potato in water to prevent it from oxidizing. Capsicum, one medium sized. Ingredients needed for grinding are one small onion, green chilies according to your spice tolerance. Here we have taken 16 green chilies, coriander, one handful, mint leaves, few, garlic, four pods, ginger, two inches, cloves, seven, peppercorns, one teaspoon, and cinnamon, two inches, three sticks. Coriander powder 1 teaspoon and grated coconut 1 fourth cup. Whole spices needed for sauteing are star anise, bay leaves, green cardamom, black cardamom, stone flour, marathi mugu, som, shahi jeera and kasuri meat. 1 large onion and 2 medium sized tomatoes. Basmati rice, two and a half cups, washed and drained. In a heated pressure cooker, we will be adding in one fourth cup of oil, along with two tablespoons of ghee. Next, we will be adding in the whole spices and sauteing it till it turns aromatic. Next, we will be adding in the onion and sauteing it till it turns translucent. The onions have turned translucent, so now we will be adding in the tomatoes. Saute until the tomatoes turn soft and mushy. Now that the tomatoes have turned soft and mushy, we will be adding in the mixed veggies which we have washed. Saute until the raw smell has gone. Add salt to taste. Cover the lid and cook on low heat for about 
three minutes. Keep sitting occasionally. We will be adding in a cup of water as it helps in cooking the veggies faster. Give it a good mix. While the veggies are cooking, in the meantime we shall make ready for the masala. In a mixer jar, we shall be adding in grated coconut, green chilies, mint leaves, coriander leaves, onion, cloves, ginger and garlic, cinnamon and peppercorns. Coriander powder. We will be adding in half glass of water and will grind it into a fine paste. Once the veggies are partially cooked, we will be adding in the ground masala. Saute until the raw smell goes. Cover the lid and cook on low heat for 2 minutes so that the oil separates. Now let's give it a good mix. Next we will be adding in the potatoes and giving it a good mix. Now we will be adding in water. We have added in some water to the mixture jar to get all of the masala out. As we have taken 2.5 cups of rice, we will be taking 5 cups of water. Mix well. Cover the lid and let the water come to a boil. Add in juice of half a lime. Once the water comes to a boil, you can check for salt and spices and adjust accordingly. Now we will be adding in washed rice.
give it a gentle mix. Keep the lid open and let the rice absorb the water. As you can see, the rice can be seen on the surface. Give it a quick and gentle stir. Cover the lid and cook on low heat for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, turn off the stove and let cool for about half an hour. Meantime, in a heated pan, we should add in 2 tablespoons of ghee. Once it's heated, we should add in the capsicum and fry for about 2-3 to three minutes. By doing this, the crunchiness of the capsicum will retain. After half an hour, let's open the lid and check on how the palau has turned out. As you can see, the masala in the palav has been evenly distributed. Now we will be adding in the roasted capsicums. Delicious veg palau is ready to be served with some raita. If you liked this recipe, please do give it a try and do let us know how it turned out in the comments section below. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.